We got one of our viewers thinking about another famous Portland flower, another one that gets a lot of attention this time of year. Lynn says, you just did a story about the cherry blossoms on the Portland waterfront. Very interesting and beautiful. It makes me curious as to how Portland got the name the Rose City. So we looked into it and found out. Portland has only been the Rose City for a little over about 100 years. Roses aren't native to this area. They're not native to Portland. And according to the Oregon Historical Society, the first roses came to Oregon in 1837, a rose bush that was a wedding gift from a missionary. Cuttings from those roses were planted all over the region. But the person you can really thank to have Portland called the Rose City would be Georgiana Piddick. She was married to Henry Piddick, the owner of the Oregonian newspaper. Maybe you've been to the Piddick Mansion and seen that view. That's where they lived later in, in their lives. Georgiana Piddick did a lot of cool things. Uh, she helped out the poor and women in Portland, and she and her husband worked for women's suffrage. But she also founded the Portland Rose Society. She grew lots of roses in her yard and got people together for competitions for the best homegrown roses. She started that in 1889, and it eventually became the Portland Rose Festival in 1907. The original Rose Festival had a king of Rosaria, not a queen, not a princess, a king. The first Rose King actually rode an elephant through town. I mean, bring that part back. You can still have a, a princess, but I want the, I want the elephant. It's had parades the entire time. The parades have only been canceled a few times in history because of World War I, World War II, and you guessed it, COVID. That's unfortunately the case again this year. The big event has been canceled. Some events are still going to be going on. Princesses are still going to be crowned, and organizers are encouraging you to decorate your porch for a porch parade.